Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Beyond the Raptor. Today we're talking about the all new Ford Maverick. When Ford announced that they were getting more into the truck and SUV game and that that was gonna be their focus, they were not kidding. We have seen an all new Bronco and Bronco Sport. We've seen the Ford F-150 Lightning. We've seen the uh, Explorer Timberline and now the all new Ford Maverick. And this is just kind of incredible. So let's talk a little bit about it. This is a <clears throat> specs here four-door passenger truck, standard hybrid front-wheel drive, 40 miles per gallon, MSRP 1995. Yeah, that's a truck for less than $20,000. Pretty incredible if you ask me. Now, um, Ford really built this compact truck, I think for kind of the city market, the, the maker, the tinkerer, somebody who needs to haul stuff, but not a lot for towing and not for heavy off-road use. But uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about what it's capable of in a minute and a little bit more about the price range. Um, but here you'll see the signature uh, Area 51 gray blue. Um, pretty cool color, I really like it, and what a small little truck. So let's learn about what this truck can do down to the specs. 121 inch wheelbase, curb weight of 3,700 pounds, front and rear independent suspension, four and a half foot bed. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, 8.3 inches of ground clearance. If you get the off-road package, it's 8.6. And if you get the off-road package, you get uh, upgraded wheels and tires for off-road. You get uh, underbody skid plates and all the off-road modes that the Ford Bronco Sport offers. Uh, Drivetrains, let's talk about those. So standard hybrid drive drivetrain, 2.5 uh, liter hybrid uh, drivetrain, which gives you 191 hybrid horsepower. That's a combined horsepower of the gas and the uh, electric motor combined. 2,000 pound towing capacity, 500 mile range, and 40 miles per gallon. So that's not too bad. Like hybrid trucks, uh, especially this size, I think it's going to appeal to the right market. Uh, but if you're somebody that wants a gas motor and you don't want to have to worry about that, uh, then you've got the two liter EcoBoost, a little bit smaller than what they have in the Ranger but that's 250 horsepower, 277 foot-pounds of torque, and that ups your towing capacity to 4,000 pounds. Not bad for a little Ford Maverick. So let's talk about the bed. Four and a half foot bed with 1,500 pounds of payload capacity, room for a full-size ATV, or 18 sheets of four by eight plywood. Yes, 18 sheets. You saw how the tailgate there actually bends up and gets it over the hump. They really did think about people that would be running back and forth to the hardware store for these small projects around the house or that were tinkerers or hobbyists. This is not a bad option for them. So let's talk about this bed. Let's talk about this uh, Flex bed system, they call it. 220 volt outlets, 12 bed anchor points, multi-position tailgate that we just showed you earlier, lumber slot to divide the bed up. Now, you're not gonna get any of this in an Escape or in a Bronco Sport, which is the same platform this is on. So, oh, forgot the bottle opener on the bed, if you didn't see that. That's kind of a cool little feature. So uh, they've really been thinking about this market. Now let's move from the outside, let's move to the inside. So we've got uh, 120 volt outlets, under seat storage, should be standard. All Ford pickups, I think they've got those. Uh, eight inch touchscreen, standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can really tech this thing out, wait. That's actually standard, so that comes with every model. Don't have to pay for that. But the interior is what I wanna focus on here. This is a standard truck interior, so lots of colors, you see lots of different um, fabrics and textures. I think they really are trying to target this to someone that wants something a little more hip, a little more trendy, because they maybe they haven't had a truck before, and so now they're going to have one and they also want it to look cool and be nice on the inside, as well as perform and be utilitarian on the outside. I think that is what should entice most individuals. If you're looking for something that doesn't have to be serious off-road and doesn't have to tow a ton, but you want all of those options and flexibility and you want it to be really neat on the inside and have all the technology, Ford Maverick is not a bad truck for you. It's no full-size pickup for sure, but it is a new option available for those looking or those who haven't considered a truck before. So uh, check out our website at beyondtheraptor.com for more news, as well as check out Ford's website if you want more information about the uh, Ford Maverick. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.